Welcome everyone, this is Alex for the Coast Spa, and today we're going to do a full tour of Halloween Haunt here at Dorney Park. Just be aware that after 7pm there is no re-entry, no bags are allowed pretty much. There's a whole policy on the website, check that out. Uh, there's one new house and one new scare zone, so we'll show you all that. And everything you can do, all the houses, a little bit of the food and drink, and the shows. And if you haven't heard, Dorney Park is finally getting a new roller coaster next year. And if you're interested in coaster construction of it, we'll be doing that throughout the entire off season. So a look for that. It's going to be a BM dive coaster with three inversions. As you enter in, you'll have this great photo op right here, and they have characters out right at opening, so you can get some photos. Before we get into the scary stuff, over in the water park on Saturdays and Sundays is the Great Pumpkin Fest. They have lots of activities, pedal cars, some trick-or-treating, a foam pit, a little hay bale maze, stuff like that. So, great for kids, included with admission, as is Halloween Haunt. And if you want to experience the event and you're too scared and you have little kids, or yourself, you can get a Nobu necklace. Now, this does not work in the houses, only on the midways. As we head down, they have uh, erected this stage this year and they are doing lots of shows for a normal time and then they did stuff for Grand Carnival and this is where the main show is gonna be as well. So on Fridays, the park does open at six but Haunt doesn't start till seven. They have the opening ceremony that starts at 6.50 and then they have Conjure the Night. We will be missing the open ceremony this year. I will show you a little bit of footage from when it was right by the meteor for the last few years. Should be about the same thing. And then you have Conjure the Night, which we will also show you right now. And then as we head down the main midway, this is the midway of misery. So uh, lots of scary little characters and everything. And we're gonna take a trip around the park during the daytime, counterclockwise to show you everything in the daytime so you can get your bearings. But we're also gonna transition to the nighttime as well and show you all the crazy spooky characters that you'll see. So I can definitely say that the Midway of Misfit is more or less a selfie area. Not a lot of scares, lots of photo ops with these demented characters. Kind of a Alice in Wonderland take there. There are a couple of bars. As you can see, we got a DJ this year on top of the Misfits bar. Love this. Let's take a look at the menu. There we go, blood bags, zombie juice. I want to drink your blood, blood bags, and then a bunch of mixed drink as well. Right before you get to the park's B&M inverted roller coaster, the Talon, right near the games area, is gonna be blackout. Now this is a maze where it's gonna be completely dark and you're just gonna have little bits of arrows on the floor to guide you through. There are people in there that's gonna jump out and scare you out of nowhere. Uh, so it's kind of cool because you have no association with what is going on. So uh, yeah, it's basically stumbling out of bed at night with people scaring you. Crowds were very light tonight, so we actually did black out and I can say, it's got like this weird candy store theme at the beginning and they're yelling at you at candy and all that stuff. Still, I'm just not a fan of just walking in the dark. One out of 10. Off to the right of Whitewater Landing is gonna be one of the better houses, but on the bayou, this has been our favorite one. And now the way we filmed this, we have not done the new house yet. So I have a feeling that might take it over, but blood on the bayou. And this year, the port of call has been moved back up here. I think it was up here years and years ago. It was down by Possessed for a few years and now it's back up here again. What is uh, old is new again. This is going to be your pirate themed scare zone. We love this. So we'll show you at night and then talk about the show that headlines up here. Hey, what are you looking Ooh. at? Huh? They also have the Port of Call Pub. Same menu as we saw before. Same drinks, same everything. And they also have these cool stockades that you can uh, get your photo in right in front of the giant pirate ship. And then here is Skeleton Crew. We'll take a look at this. 
uh, one of the showings. This is an ear acrobat type of show. They do usually mix it up every year, so let's take a look at it. Just be aware that Halloween Haunt is really not meant for kids. That means on Saturdays, Soupy does close at 6 p.m. There is no haunt on Sunday, so it will stay open until park close. And also, if you're looking for Carnival, it is not in this location this year. It has moved, and we'll show you where it is. So Carnival is kind of going to be in this area where there are some midway games, kind of like the new location. Let's take a look at it at night. You can see one look air entrance is right by the tilt wheel, and you're going to get the other one by the Sea Dragon and the Dominator as well. <laughs> She has ice cream. Go get some ice cream. Go get go get ice cream. She's got ice cream. She's got ice cream. It's too many phones. So like what it is, if what it was didn't exist, if that makes any sense. I like the long pathway with lots of the boob holes and walls and all that. I like the way it was. And on the other side of Carnival, we're going to head up the hill before we head to the back of Dorney Park to check out the one house that is right below the Ferris wheel and next to delicious, delicious food, chicken and pizza. Here is Taurus Trap Collector to Killer. This is really cool. Basically, a collector who kept collecting things from around the world, and then he wants to collect you as his final trophy Love this house. Let's see how it is this year. All right, our walkthrough of Taurus Trap. I'd say this one's kind of getting a little long for the stay. Uh, five out of 10, it's average. Actors were okay. I just feel like this one could use a refresh or a replacement in the near future. But still, high quality as always. But year after year, it's starting to get a little tired. So the ranking can go Whoa. down just because our friends just scared us. Goodbye. <laughs> Heading into the lower portion of Dorney Park, this is Dystopia. This is your post-apocalyptic type scare zone. This was new last year, but it was located up in the Hydra Plaza. Interesting that they've changed around so many different scare zones this year. Let's see how this all fares. Ooh, beware of sliders. And then in Dystopia, they do have the Outpost Bar. On tap is going to be Oktoberfest, Samuel Adams, the Dog Head Pumpkin Ale, the Gingling, and then the Haunted Hops, which is the Dorney Park, uh, Dorney Park Brew. I got the Samuel Adams. It is good. And how is your Haunted Hops? It's hoppy. It's hoppy. Yeah, I, I went without that. And on the other exit to... Dystopia is going to be a roadside. This was the new maze for last year, kind of in quotes new, because uh, they uh, basically just spiffed up the old corn stalkers. Let's see how it is this year. We do always enjoy this one as well, and that's the theme about Dorney's mazes. Of the three parks, Dorney, Great Adventure, and Hershey Park, Dorney by far blows away with the quality and the experience of your haunted event. So let's see how Roadside Stop and Chop is this year. We had our run through of Roadside Stop and Chop. Seems like they added a few sections or some new costumes. It's like a petting zoo area that we do not remember from last year. That was fantastic. Uh, yeah, going through the corn maze though can get a little slow and a little repetitive, but all the other scenes were absolutely fantastic. Sick out of 10 or oh, close to a seven dystopia and dominator we're heading into the hollow which is their pumpkin themed scare zone introduced a few years ago love this one this is probably the prettiest scare zone at night if you don't get scared uh also keep a note that the zephyr is done for the year because of the construction for iron menace so uh no zephyr for the rest of the year, but it will be open when the new coaster opens next year, which will be fun. Let's check this one out at night. Come, train your head for a pumpkin. Ooh. 
pumpkin head. Pumpkin head. This is probably the best one this year. We will take a little bit of a break from the tour to show you Iron Menace a little bit in detail. I will have a video out finally talking about my thoughts of the coaster. But my thoughts are it's going to be a fun addition. Dive coasters are usually a lot of fun. As you can see, 95 degree drop. You're going to be holding up there for three seconds. Immobile inversion, barrel roll, tilted loop, and a corkscrew, and a helix. So, looks cool. And uh, stay tuned for those construction subsets, as I said. Down by the Cedar Creek Flyers is going to be Ghost in the Machine, the new house. It's supposed to be tied into the theme of Iron Menace. So, very excited to try this out. Let's take a look at the facade, and then we will head in and let you know how it is. McTavish Steel is the steel company that the uh, ride and haunt are all themed around love this facade very good job all right ghost in the machine the new house uh, uh, amazing detail you're going through the steel factory with all these demented steel workers and basically metavish is wreaking havoc on you as you're going through it uh, lots of jump scares lots of surprises especially at the end uh lots of cool jump scares i would give this one a eight out of ten this is solid now that's comparing to regional. We're not going to include a universal because that's a different level. But 8 out of 10, definitely a winner. Glad to see this one here for many, many years. And such an improvement on what was here for the last few years, which was easily a 0 out of 10 house for me. On our way over to the Steel Force Plaza is going to be Necropolis. This is going to be your walking through the graveyard type one. Very open wide spaces. The least scariest, I would say. So if you have people that are a little unsure of themselves, that's definitely one to start out on. And also not very good. In the Steel Force Plaza, be sure to ride Steel Force. But also, you have Trick or Treat, which is your witch-themed house. Always a solid house. Just a little short. I thought we had one more thing to show you, but the layer after... 15 years is gone. So this was a walkthrough type thing and it is not here anymore. So uh, that is it for all these scares and everything. We showed you the shows, we showed you the scares, we showed you the alcohol, and now we're gonna show you the merchandise in the main shop and then we'll wrap this up. And here's a look at some of the merchandise. They have some stuff with the Peanuts characters. Very cute. And then more. Uh, the Haunt shirts. There they go. I like the Alfundo Haunt shirt. I think I'm going to have to get this one. They have a magnet this year for the event. Very nice. There you go. Carn Evil. Halloween Haunt. And then that is better than the logo for Iron Menace. I love that. <laughs> Very nice. There's the Iron Menace shirt that they have. Kind of a basic logo. Then they have a basic haunt shirt. A little throne. You can get some pictures on. Basic haunt logo. There you go. They do have a haunt shirt with all the houses on it. I saw that over by the Wild Mouse, so I'll give a look at that in a moment. And here is the house and scare zone shirt for the year. Nice. And that was Halloween Haunt for 2023. Once again, solid new house. I'd love to see that. I kind of like and don't like the changes they made to some of the scare zones, but regardless, still fantastic event. I'd rate it a uh, seven out of 10. Very good. So definitely check it out. If you're gonna check out one of these haunts from the three I mentioned earlier, still suggest Dorney Park as always. Thanks for watching. This has been Alex for the Coaster Spot. Like, comment, and subscribe. And check out other videos from Hershey and Six Flags if you want to see more scary stuff this haunt season.